so hey guys welcome to our youtube channel so this is video number 5 of the astronomy and astrophysics video series so in this video we are going to cover celestial sphere and geometry of a celestial sphere so if you have any confusions or suggestion you can mail us on this email so what is the celestial sphere so if we look at the clear sky at night the stars appear to be distributed on the inside surface of a vast sphere centered at the observer and this sphere is known as celestial sphere so the stars are a different distance from us but since the distances of these stars are very large they appear to us as if they are at the same distance from us so it is sufficient if only the direction of these stars are defined on this sphere since the distance is not involved it is usual to take the radius of the celestial sphere as unity so now we will discuss the geometry of a celestial sphere so here you can say this is known as the celestial sphere and any plane going to the passing through the center of the spheres uh, gives a great circle and any a plane passing through other points of the sphere gives a small circle so let us consider a sphere of radius r equal to 1 unit the intersection intersection of the sphere by a plane gives a circle now if the plane passes through the center of the sphere we have a great circle and if it doesn't passes through the center then we have a smaller circle so fg is a great circle whose plane passes through the center o and e h is a small circle so here fg which is a, a passes through the center of the sphere so we here we get a great circle and uh, and similarly e h which doesn't pass through the center of the sphere so here we get a small circle so points p and q are the poles of the great circle fg so for the great circle fg the point p and q are is are is its pole so the distance between point C and D on the grid circle CD is the arc length CD. So here is the point C and D and the distance between C CD is known as arc length CD. So from basic geometry we get CD equal to angle COD into R or CD equal to angle COD as uh, we have considered R equal to 1. So in astronomy it is convenient to denote the distance on a sphere in angles. Now the angle between two grid circles is called spherical angle. So PSEQ and PBDQ are two grid circles intersecting at the points P and Q and angle APB and CPD are spherical angles between these two grid circles. These two circles are equal. So on the geometrical sphere, we will say you will get that the uh, greater circle PSEQ and PBDQ uh, intersect each other at point P and Q and the angles uh, made by two these grid circles uh, along with P are known as their spherical angles and these two grid are uh, and these two angles are equal by so to measure the angle between the two grid circle we just draw two tangents to the grid circle and we will measure the angle between the two tangents and this angle will be known as the angle between the two grid circles so this is for today's video we will cover the remaining syllabus in the upcoming video lectures so if you have any suggestions or queries you can mail us on our email id also you can put your comment in the comment box thank you for watching this video